What's going on everyone? Ninja here from NTP back again with another Naruto statue. Today we have Tenten. So Tenten, like, major thing about her is I feel like she's a really under undervalued character, right? Like she could be so cool, but I I feel like you just don't see enough of her, right? Like you don't really she's not in many scenes. And, like, she doesn't have any major fights, like, within the series. So, I don't know. Like, I like her, but I feel like she's lost a lot of potential, right? And she even gets a kind of cool design. Like, you can kind of see back there, you can see the Shippuden version of Tintin, as well as, the, like, you know, as you could have for Neji and, uh, Ro and uh, Rock Lee and everything. You can see, like, on her back, she's a scroll and everything. So she gets a lot more... She gets a little bit more added to her, and she's, she's pretty cool, but, I don't know. I feel like she's a little underappreciated. Um, who knows? I don't know. But, yeah. We're not focusing on her over there, though. We're focusing on this now. So let's just go and jump into it, right? Let's just get into this. Waste no time just burning through this little, this girl. Freaking, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. <laughs> Dimensions are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8 by 4 by 12. The arms, they are attached or aligned to the torso. And they are 4 by 4 by 12. And the head here is 8 by 8 by 8 with a hat effect. You can see her hair here. She has, like, buns on the top of her head. So this is what I came up with to kind of uh, deal with that. It kind of just comes up one on the side and one on the top. Uh, two, two from the back and three from the front. So it's kind of like an uneven, just a three, uh, three across, like, bun. So um, that is that. And, yeah, so... As usual, I'll just have pictures at the very end in the plastic texture pack, so check that out if I go by a little quickly, which I might go through this a little fast because she's pretty simple, not as hard as like say Neji was, with a little bit more detail and everything and more colors to him. She's pretty just, uh, just cut and paste, you know, copy and paste. She's pretty easy, so let's get into her now. Let's get lined up here if I can. All right, so her shoes, as pretty much everyone else, is blue. With uh, the Birchwin planks, we have pants that are black, the wrapping going around her legs, which most other people have as well. Uh, that is white with the black going across it. Here is the side of it here. Shoes, of course, blue going across, the wrap around with the skin as well with the Birchwin planks, and the pants just being plainly black. Um, that just goes there. The, ra uh, the uh, wrapping with the kunai pouch or whatever on the side, that comes out one, or doesn't come out one, what am I saying? If I made it fancier, it'd probably come out one, but I didn't really do that with these guys. You can if you want to. I think it'd be pretty interesting. Um, anyway, though, back of her shoes, that all just wraps around with blue. Same thing with Bertrand Planks in the black. Uh, but on the very top of the legs there, you can see that uh, the little pouch she has in the very back of her. That is on the very bottom of her pants as well, and that's just brown. That's showing there on the very bottom, or I guess the very top of the legs, the very bottom, bottom of the torso. So... Bottom of the pouch, top of the legs. You get what I'm trying to say here. And then this side's just plain with black and birchwood planks and blue. Really simple. And that is it for the legs. Moving on to the torso now. Her arms are completely bare. Like, there's there's nothing on her arms. Just all birchwood planks, all skin. Perfectly fine. Uh, she has, like, a sleeveless shirt on, so that's how that works. Um... She's got red here on either sides of the arms. I actually think it's just lining of her uh, shoulders. Like, um, it's the lining of, like, the sleeves, I believe, on her shirt. Um, then she's just got yellow on the very front of it for just, like, lines. And it's just a normal pink shirt, right? Very, very easy, very simple. Um, there's also a little cut in the very bottom of it down here, so a little bit of a pants show for the black right there. Um, and that's it for that. Uh, yep, as I said, her arms are totally bare. It's just a 4x4x12 four by four by column, basically, of, of birch wooden planks. So, that's how that works. I'll just show the other arm before I get to the back here, just so you can see it. See, really, really just plain and simple. And that's it with that. Back of the shirt now, uh, it's just all pink, plain, plain shirt. The, uh, the red, it just mirrors to the very back as it did in the front, so just basically copy that from the front to the back and then the only other difference is that you have the little pouch on the very back of her which is brown with a little bit of detailing in there with the spruce wooden planks and that is it with that moving on to the front of her here 
Oh, I'm falling. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so her skin is birch wind planks. The eyes are spruce wind planks with brown, and the other half is white. And then we have the mouth, which is oak wind planks. She's got some eyelashes there on the very sides of her eyes, which are black. Her hair is uh, brown stained clay, and that's coming down in front of the headband that she has on, which is stone gray and a little bit of light gray there. So that is that for that. Um, over here on the side, you can see the headband starts to show that is blue. The skin's showing there, which is birch wind planks, and the rest of her hair is just the brown stained clay, as we mentioned. There's the beginning of the bun. Just give a nice little shot of that, I guess. There's that. Coming over here to this side, the headband just wraps around her head with the blue wool and has the little knot with the hat effect. I guess I didn't mention that when I was talking about the hat effect. Um, <laughs> totally forgot about that, I guess. But that comes out one on the back, and that's just blue, of course, with the brown stained clay. Here is the other side, fairly similar to the one side, but not the same. It is not mirrored across, so very, very little different. I just made each side just the tiniest bit different. So here's this side with uh, the birch one planks, the brown stained clay, and the headband. And that's pretty much it for that. You fill in the top and bring the buns in one on the top, and uh, then you're done with 1010. And you have finished everyone but Guy of Team Guy. So that is it for 1010, guys. If you have any requests, go and leave them in the comments. It could really be, oh, that was my knee popping. It could really be anything. Just, you know, throw them out there and we'll see what we can do. Pretty, pretty simple. So that's it for me, guys, though. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you for the next one.